But today, we have got yet another special guest. Um, this brother, like I said, we when I came to this church, uh, we were in community group um, together. Um, but I think probably the first time I saw him was uh, leading worship. And before I even go any further, I just want to say thank you for all the hard work that you guys put in on a yeah. weekly basis. We come in, we see you guys on uh, Sunday, but I know that y'all are putting in work throughout the week to prepare, yeah, man. and it's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. So I just want to say thank you because I know it's so easy just to see you guys up there for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And I realize you guys have put hours and hours of work in. Yeah, so I just, want to, I just want to say thank you. But this, uh, no I'm super grateful for this, this individual. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, when I try to get people to do these concepts, I, I do a little assuming. I'm, I'm trying to see what concept would fit best with the, with the individual. <laughs> no and I'm not going to lie. I kind of assume some things. Uh, for those listening, you cannot see this brother, but he's built like a tank. <laughs> you know. And so please correct me if I'm wrong. You got to do a little bit of working out. You yeah. know, a little, bit of, a little bit of working out. So I thought this would be a great concept. Um, but I am joined by my brother, uh, Nate Williams. How are you doing today, my brother? Doing good, man. Doing good. You said a little bit. It's a little bit, a lot of bit of work. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we look a little big. But, yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate you you asking me to come through. I was like, oh, shoot, man. I'm about to go, like, talk to some people. I'm down, <laughs> man. I was excited, for real. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because um, every time, like, I have someone special come, it, it, it means a lot to me. Um, I heard the gospel and uh, I got no choice but to share it. I come yeah. from a background where a lot of people, like the conversation that me and you can have, I can't have a lot of my family and friends uh, right. back where I'm from. So it's like for someone to come and partner with me just to try to articulate the gospel, it means so much to me. I didn't, because I, I know I tell a lot of people I'm in seminary and it's kind of like intimidated, but I'm just a regular <laughs> person, man. I'm just trying to learn. Um, God's been ordering my steps. I heard the gospel and I, I didn't plan. Like if somebody were to tell me this is what I would be doing, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I would be uh, uh, doing at all. I would never foresee this uh, future for me, but but God, you know, right? just, seeing, just seeing what he has done. In my life, I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm just just trying to be obedient to the Lord. Um, and so he, he, he led me to write this, this book. And um, all I'm trying to do is communicate the gospel with these concepts. Um, so concept number 17, we're just going to yeah. jump uh, right into this. Uh, why do we work? And I, and I open a quest and I open in the chapter. I say this is likely a question most people ask themselves every Monday. You know, for most, oh work is, is a necessary evil. Um, but if we just gotta be plain and just answer the question, we work to pay the bills. Exactly. <laughs> Straight up, man. That's what gets you up every morning. You're like, man, I don't wanna wait. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get to it. Nah, and, and, and that's just kind of the simplistic answer. Like, even though we may not like our job, we got to get up because we got to have lights. We got to have shelter. We got to have food. And for me, I got a kid. I got to have food. Yes, and I'm clothes on her back. So it's like, I got to work to, to, to pay the bills. I say without a job, um, one then becomes dependent on someone else. Um, and so, therefore, it's, it's a necessity that each individual work because if you're not working, that means you're dependent on somebody else. Right. And you know. especially as a man, it's like once you get to a certain point, it's like, I want to provide for myself. I don't need my parents taking care of me mm -hmm. no more. You know, and then yeah. as a man, when you have a family, it's like, yeah, I got to be, I got to be the one to provide for my family. And right. so once you're not providing, that means somebody else has got to got, step in. It's got to step in and provide. Yeah. And that ain't too fair because everybody should be holding their own weight. Exactly. You know? That's what we and think. so when we think about work in that sense, it's universal. Like no matter your culture, no matter your background, work is intrinsic. Right. It's intrinsic to all society. We can all get it here in America, China, Africa, wherever. Right. You, you got to work. You got to work. Yeah. You, you gotta can't work. just sit around. You can't just sit around. And, and, and when I was talking about work, I, I say uh, there is no culture or society that can function without people working. Work being universal and intrinsic to society teaches at least three things. Work teaches that a person, that people have a purpose. Work gives us an identity, and it also, excuse me, 
proves existence. And I wanted to just throw this question out to you because we were talking about um, what you do for a living. Yeah. And that, that's one of the, the questions that you always ask a kid. What do you want to be when you grow up? Shh. Was yeah. that teaching always something that you wanted to do or how, how did you come to, to doing what you are doing today? Honestly, man, like I, I came to do what I'm doing today just by accepting work almost almost like I'm not gonna say blindly, but anywhere where I could find something to do to help somebody out, I just said yes. Like when I was growing up, my dad would just be like, All right, so it's time to go cut some grass. I'm like after a while I was like, Man, I don't wanna do this, but then it's just like I gotta go. So I'm gonna just go. And then from that moment forward it was just like, All right, somebody need to go cut some grass, cool. Somebody need me to go like lay some shingles on their roof, cool. Somebody need me to go like trim some hedges, cool. I just went yeah. and then from that moment forward, it was just like anytime work showed up, I just raised my hand and kept it moving. So that's where I got my job. Like I was working in the call center Okay. and then um, I went to NC State for like a career day, like career fair. Somebody said, we're looking for math teachers. And I was like, all right, cool, put my stuff in. Next thing you know, they called me up, said, we got a job for you, and we want you to be a part of this program. So, like, I filled everything out, went to the interview. Next thing I knew, like, two weeks later, they said, come through, we want you at the school, and I had my job. Wow. So, yeah, man, yeah, like, it's, I, I ran towards the work, It opened, the door opened up, God opened up the door for me, pretty much, yeah, and I just ran through it, and now, like, it's just, it's, become a part of who I am, man. It's like So yeah. teaching was it it wasn't even on your radar. Man. Wasn't even on my radar, dude. Like I matter of fact, in college they were just like, Hey you doing math? Make sure you don't become a teacher. <laughs> That's it. Straight up, don't do it, you're not gonna get paid. Uh -huh. It's like, okay, cool, I'll make sure I don't become a teacher. So I was like fighting it like crazy. I was like, I wanna be an actuary. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to be an actuary and then like I'm just trying to find these jobs but then a job came up I was making more money and I just came I went straight into it mm -hmm. matter of fact when I first started teaching dude it was like it was stupid hard like the kids like <laughs> bro like I don't remember what it was like in middle school I guess because <laughs> this junk is different but you know I, I stuck it out man and uh, I'm learning how to be a teacher day after day That's yeah that's dope.